the conflicts that continue to rage in the world are of great concern to us. The continuing conflict in Gaza, in the Middle East, resulting in the death of so many Palestinians is a matter of great concern. We must continue to insist that there should be a ceasefire with immediate effect and that there should also be recognition for the self-determination of the Palestinians. Your Excellency President Vladimir Putin, Your Excellencies fellow BRICS leaders, Honorable Ministers, Excellencies and ladies and gentlemen, allow me to start by thanking President Putin and the people of Russia for hosting this, the 16th BRICS summit in this beautiful city of Kazan. It is fitting that we hold the BRICS summit in a city that is so rich in heritage and culture as we embrace this new chapter in BRICS as an expanded family of countries equally rich in history, culture, and capability. Our story as the BRICS countries is a story of solidarity of mutual respect and mutual benefit. BRICS is an inclusive formation that has the ability to change the trajectory of the Global South. To do this, we must realize the full potential of our economic partnership to ensure sustainable development for all and not just for some. We must undertake bold steps towards a mutual, shared, and equitable prosperity for all. Like most of the world, South Africa desires the smooth operation of supply chains, trade, tourism, and financial flows free from external influence in a multipolar world. Working together, the BRICS family has an important role in addressing the key challenges of the Global South in partnership with like-minded emerging market economies. We look forward to the report that will be given by our finance ministers and central bank governors on the use of local currencies in international trade and financial transactions between BRICS members and their trading partners. A few days ago, the BRICS business entities gathered in Moscow under the stewardship of the BRICS Business Council to explore tangible trade opportunities between our countries. For South Africa, these endeavors which are focused on practical results, are critical in addressing our country's central national priority of inclusive economic growth. For us, inclusive growth means, amongst other things, prioritizing women-led businesses. In this regard, we acknowledge the diligent work of the BRICS Women's Business Alliance to unlock economic value between the BRICS countries for the development, growth, and sustainability of women-owned businesses. As we seek sustainable development solutions, we must acknowledge the challenges posed by climate change. We must acknowledge the devastating impact on lives and livelihoods of our current climate trajectory. As South Africa, we remain committed to a just transition to a low carbon economy. We are committed to the reduction of global emissions guided by the principle of common 
but differentiated responsibilities and respective capabilities. While countries with developing economies remain severely impacted by climate change, they have contributed the least to the current climate crisis that the world is experiencing. It is therefore vital that industrialized nations honor their climate commitments and ensure a just and equitable transition. It is essential that climate actions do not deepen global inequality or stifle the developmental aspirations of the countries in the global south. To achieve the objectives of the BRICS Strategy for Economic Partnership 2025, we must further explore pathways to unlock opportunities and address challenges confronted by micro, small, and medium-sized enterprises that operate in BRICS countries. We must intensify cooperation amongst BRICS members by launching common development programs in the fields of exports, industrial cooperation, and technology exchange. We have called for the recalibration of trade rules to enable industrialization. The WTO must be reformed. We must enhance beneficiation of mineral endowments of BRICS countries closest to the source where these minerals are produced. This is important for development and for the advancement of our decarbonization goals. The unique role that is played by the New Development Bank as a multinational development bank is pivotal to the development aspirations of our group and emerging markets and developing economies at large. We commend the work that is being done and progress that is being achieved by the New Development Bank under the excellent leadership of our dearest sister Dilma Rousseff. It is one of the finest examples of the value of the BRICS group because it is supporting the growth and development of countries of the global south. And this is a great strength. And as we enhance the development of these countries, we also need to focus on peace and security in the world. The conflicts that continue to rage in the world are of great concern to us. The continuing conflict in Gaza, in the Middle East, resulting in the death of so many Palestinians is a matter of great concern. We must continue to insist that there should be a ceasefire with immediate effect and that there should also be recognition for the self-determination of the Palestinians. We have achieved progress on a number of areas and this level of progress that we have achieved must encourage us and inspire us to do more. And it must also make BRICS to become an even more effective instrument for global peace and for global progress at all levels, economic and otherwise. I thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Thank you for pointing out the challenges for the global south. We all agree that we need to fight against climate change, but we cannot agree with you that no one should be allowed to use this 
Спасибо большое еще раз. Пожалуйста, я передаю слово министру иностранных дел Объединенных Арабских Эмиратов. Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon next to it. We have decided to bring videos on something nobody talks about, African politics, economy, and increasing power. Thanks for watching, and until the next video, stay tuned. Tell us what you think in the comment section. Like and share the video, and subscribe so that you don't miss any of our African videos. It's the best way to support us.